Pitbull Bulldog case. This is the GSG 522, and um, I've got a cheap center point red dot. We're going to be taking a look at the GSG 522, obviously in 22 caliber. Um, very nice weapon. Um, say weapon it is 22 but hell look at this thing <laughs> um it's pretty nice it's got a very good i like the thumb release man i really like it i think it's great um it has the the charge right here at the top just like the mp5 sort of like the h and k i mean it's a pretty much an exact replica of the mp5 but in 22 caliber um anyway um we're going to be sighting it i've got this very inexpensive $30 red dot green dot scope and I had this thing dialed in great um, you can see a riser right here this is the normal rail it comes with I had to put a riser on it because I added a tactical um, flashlight and I had to offset this I had to get an offset Picatinny to go off to the side so it would not hit this and I had to raise this up so I had to get a riser for the scope and I had to get an offset mount for the flashlight so I have not really fired it since then it might be a little off, um, but we're going to give it a shot today. Um, we're going to shoot a few different types of ammo uh, with it. Um, it. does have a sling mount. And on that side, um, very nice gun though. Um, very happy. It is on safety. Um, so it's got ambidextrous safety on both sides. So you can thumb your index. I'm no expert or anything. I am a fairly decent shot, but when I had this thing without the tack light and the scope just mounted on the uh, the normal rail, um, man, I was hitting, I went to my buddy's house, and I was hitting a 12 by 12 target, pretty good groupings in the center at, at 100 yards, and that is no lie. Um, so we'll see if it's still um, fairly accurate. Anyway, stay with me. All right, so it's time to lock and load. So what we're going to do, the charging handle is back, the chamber is open, I'm going to pop it, she's on safe, and uh, take a few shots. Don't laugh at my targets. Pie plate and my wife's gonna be mad I've got a rubber made, but we were shooting at the pie plate. Ooh, wow, I'm off. See that? I am high. Alright, so I'm high and to the right with that new riser, which makes sense. I'm a little high and I'm to the right. Makes perfect sense. No holes. All right, so now I'm gonna make some adjustments and we're gonna go for that center. All right, so to make the adjustment, the first thing you wanna do is this side is your left to right. You're gonna to wanna to unscrew that cap, put it somewhere safe so you don't lose it, and you may as well go ahead and take this off when you start to shoot um, because you know you're gonna be making some adjustments. I know it's over there. <laughs> um, and this is your up and down. So unscrew that one. I'm shooting at that tree way over there. Pie plate. All right. So also take this one off. Okay. So one click is close to a quarter inch. 
or something like or four or five anyway don't worry about it just think of that so I was high so I need to go down so I'm gonna go down to about oh I'm gonna go about eight or nine clicks down and then tap it because you want it to set sometimes these things can stick so after you make your adjustment tap it I was a little bit to the right so I'm gonna go to the left uh, about 11 clicks I don't know we'll see how that works tap that one just light tap and uh, just go ahead and leave those off and we will uh, we'll try it again All right, so check that out. That was a lot better. I mean, that's money. Look, look at that. 40 yards. That could have been me jumping a little bit, but I mean, that isn't bad. That's a one, three and a half inch uh, diameter. I mean, that's exactly what I'm looking for. That right there is money. It looks like the majority of my shots were a little left. A few stragglers off to the right, but when you think of that as a whole, I mean, you're talking 40, 40 yards. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to keep going. I'm not there yet. That is not too bad. All right. This is where I was shooting. Had a bug on me, sorry. And that's where I was going for. So, let's work with a little bit more and then we'll uh, have some fun. I'll try the other uh, browning ammunition. This is the target uh, match. I was talking about the Sharpie. All right, so all you do is just you just mark it so you know that those are hits from previous shots. I mean, you can even do it on here. It'll show up. Do it right in the target. You know, you, you know you've accounted for those. So now when I go back, and I hit again, I'll know that any one that I put a mark on was a previous shot. So if I get one there, 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 I'll know it's a new shot. So that's a good way to save it. Look at this rubber. My wife sees this video. She'll be like, did you take my Christmas rubber made? <laughs> uh, sorry, babe. But this is a video for uh, helping hands. All right. All right, so now we're going to go for that. Christmas rubber made right in the center right there right there in the center I'm gonna try that from here get the sharpie <laughs> might want to just keep it in your pocket I can see from here so I mean I got a few in there 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 see how these are a little low that very well could have been because I really couldn't see this target too much I really couldn't you guys are probably like yeah right <laughs> <laughs> that's a little low um, I don't know let me go for one of those we'll give it a shot but um, I mean if at best I would need to bring that up a little bit maybe I'll go a couple clicks to the right Do you remember what I was saying up here how I, I was a little bit to the left but considering the overall distance that I'm shooting at versus the caliber and um, weapon that I'm using um, 
So, this is what it takes, man. You gotta go through your ammo, but you guys are kind of seeing what I'm doing. All right. God. Jesus. I had to put my dog in. Oh, I've been wondering what in the hell I've been smelling. Good Lord. So I made a few adjustments like I did last time on that scope. Um, I moved it up just a hair. Um, but not much because I wasn't sure whether, because I couldn't see that target real well because obviously what I'm shooting at. So we'll, we'll just see what I've got. Remember, this is a non-magnified scope. This scope is just straight up dot. You can adjust how bright you want that uh, dot to be. And you can change it from red to green just by dialing it. But uh, that's all I'm using. See that from here, that's a lot better. Every one of them pretty much was in the hole. These are my previous shots, remember? Look at that. A couple pulls that could have been on my double taps. Still working on those. Which you will need to constantly work on your double taps because they're, it will, you know, depending on how you shoot, uh, maybe you need to start here with your double tap. I mean, it's all on feel, but as far as uh, your shots, your relaxed shots, it's not bad. I mean, that's, it's good. I like that. Those two I don't, yeah, whatever. Like I said, we're shooting from uh, 45 yards, as a matter of fact. And 45 yards. I want to, you may want to be, I mean, what I may end up doing is making it an inch or two high so that I know I'm dead on at 100. But like I said, I'm very happy with that. Rapid fire clip dump. GSG 522.